Hello guys, today I will show you a quick practical example of Laravel Livewire. So a few weeks ago I've posted a challenge on this YouTube channel to fill in the form of Olympic medals by sport and by country, which looks like this, a simple form. The challenge was about many-to-many -many relationship, but as a part of that challenge I asked you to implement the validation with whatever tools you want, Livewire, jQuery, Vue.js, Alpine or whatever. So the goal is to not be able to choose the same country twice. So in basketball, if Afghanistan gets the first place, then Afghanistan cannot be the second as well, right? Of course, there are team sports and there are individual sports. So for individual, there could be the same country winning gold, silver and bronze. But let's stick to the team example and implement that validation with Livewire. And first, I will show you how it looks without Livewire. Before Livewire, the form looks like this. So for each of the sports in the blade file, then we have three drop downs. So sports with zero element with zero index, then sport for the active sport with one element and with element number two. So three values come to the submission of the form. If we transform that to live wire component, so instead of all that form, or rather instead of three drop downs, this one, we put in live wire component. So we leave the full form blade. Then for each of the sport is also blade without live wire. But inside, let's load the group of three fields with Livewire. So here's how it looks after the change. So instead of all of that div, we put that as a sports component, Livewire component with sports ID as a parameter. If you are not familiar with Livewire, by the way, and you want to get started, I have a few courses around that. So on my Teachable platform, you can search for Livewire and there is practical Livewire from scratch. So from zero and a few demo projects with Livewire. Now let's get back to our form. So we put in Livewire component called sports and it is based in app HTTP Livewire sports PHP, which is very simple. We put in sport ID as a parameter, which then is transformed to the sports blade of the Livewire component, which is in resources views Livewire sports blade. So sport ID is used all over here. And this form is almost the same as create blade. We've seen just that with just Livewire things like wire model. But let's take a look at the component step by step. So that sport ID is the parameter to the full form. Then countries array is loaded once from the database. So we get all the countries and then we get the values for the sports that are chosen sports. Maybe the variable could be more readable like chosen sports or something like that. So by default, none of them are chosen. So all of them are null. But when we do wire model to, for example, sports dot zero, the zero element, then if we change that drop down value, it re renders the whole component again without changing any parameters. But what it does then, it reloads. And then in each of the drop down, instead of for each of the countries, we do for each of the countries except the chosen elements. So what happens then? We choose Afghanistan here and it disappears from the second list. We choose Albania here and none of those countries are in the third list. But at the same time, they are not disappearing from the other list because those, each of them is a separate Livewire component. So there are five instances of the same Livewire component and they could be reusable. So see how simple it is. I reiterate, you just wire model to the specific element, but of course you need to define the initial values of null. If you don't do that, you will have an error of that element doesn't exist. So with that change, we didn't change the initial form. So create blade is still posting to the store of the countries of the sports, but we just transformed the form fields into live wire component to make it dynamic with the validation that we wanted from the beginning. So this is a short video, a live wire example. If you want that code, the GitHub is here with Laravel challenge. And one of the pull requests is from myself and my teammate Nerius. This is pull request number 23, where you can explore that code and check it out yourself. If you have more ideas on the next topics on this channel, of course, shoot them in the comments and subscribe to the channel to be notified of when your idea is implemented in the next videos, which I post daily now. See you guys in other videos.